Blazers in any event get it back. Hood with 13 to shoot off the screen. Swings to Moe, has a step. Drives in on Carroll. Power drive, no. Followed by Nurk, no. Nurk is down. He is in considerable pain, and he has a serious injury. I've been. I miss you. You too. I miss you. I see you. Yeah, I'm doing better. I guess I want to start from the beginning. Nurk, uh, obviously we were there that night, March 25th, Monday, the injury. Can you just take me back that night for you, your feelings when it happened? Um, it's hard to take it back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, through my mind, it happened a lot. Um, just knowing it's overtime, we, we could win the game any, any time before. And, um, but it's meant to be, so you know everything happened for a reason. So that's why I can't look back. What happened if I played? But you know, I wish I was out there now. But you know I can't get back and just switch, and I'm gonna play. But it's gonna be. I'm still young, and no matter how hard I fail, I'm gonna stand up. So it's gonna be harder. So just my mentality from through my life and career. You said everything happens for a reason, which is, I mean, it's unbelievable to hear you say that because a lot of people but have a pity party for themselves, feel bad for themselves. Are there some moments that you do, you, you go there, you let your mind wander there, or are you just, I gotta get healthy, gotta get back? I mean, not really. Um, to be honest with you, I put so much work in, in the summer and uh, last two years to be in position where I was. And um, if you asked me before the game, uh, there's any chance I could get injured, I was like, you're crazy. Like, I, f I was feeling the most healthy I've ever been, so. Like I said, you, you cannot change uh, what's going to happen. What has your recovery been like? It was day by day. You know, I wake up and I have to do this, and I will do it, no matter what cost. And I feel great so far, you know. I've been four weeks, and uh, after surgery I was walking, so, you know, people start to be how. But, you know, yes, I have one of those like, people. How are you walking? I was surprised the NBA didn't send a drug, <laughs> drug test to me, but... Uh, <laughs> It was just the thing you, you really know is going to be all right. And it was amazing to me to see the support. And I, I want to thank everybody who reached me in any way possible. So it was amazing. Were you able to watch your team games after the injury? Did that take a The first while? couple of games was really hard. And um, everybody tried to make me come to the game and Dame. And I was sitting home. The, the game uh, we played with OKC here in uh, Portland. So I'm sitting and watching the game and everything kind of goes slow and I'm being nervous out there watching. And third quarter, like six minutes to go. Under five minutes remaining, Lillard dancing with a dribble. Quick burst, pull up three, yeah! I asked my girl how fast can be ready. She's like, be ready or just dressed. <laughs> <laughs> so I come to the arena, there's like, three minutes to go, and we down, I think, with 10, something like that. Yosef Nurkic has made an appearance here tonight. He's on the Blazer. Look at him standing, looking good. See you, Blazer bench. I know even if I show up, it's going to make a little bit difference, and it's going to be enough to get us going, especially, you know, the Dame and their shot. Working it down to two to one, a deep three! Oh, to me, I, I was not surprised. It was another day in the house. I feel the whole team kind of that serious, really stepping up. When we have it back against the wall, we will respond good. Nurk, what was going through your mind as you were watching this game man, unfold? Man. By the end of the third quarter, I was like, yo, man, f it. excuse my friend. And, you know, I know if I show up, we're going to win this game. I have heard after that game that <laughs> Dame tried to give you your crutches. And what did you say to him? Dame is my brother. You know, I will do anything for him and all my teammates. He just they great, great human beings. Everybody's kind of still in the moment, like, what happened? And I'm trying to stand and listen to the coach. So they ain't gonna go over and bring my crutches. And it's like, you have to have a crutches, but like, just you have a big shot now, you can't tell me what to do. So. During game six against Denver, you're on the bench, and Dame said, during the game, you looked over to him and said, even with my broken leg, I would play through it. I would do it all over again. I just want to be playing with you guys. The energy was crazy when I walk in and all the fans and energy, to me, was running all the emotions back. I said, damn, I wish I could play, man. I said, yeah, I mean, I wish to. Like, 
I would go there right now, even if I, I know I'm going to hurt again. <laughs> you crazy. How impressed have you been with the way that your team has bounced back after your injury? The most thing I like about Dame and this team is like nobody getting excuse. You sick, you injured, whatever. You know, we, like I said, we are human beings. We getting sick. You know, we got injuries. And nobody says something about that, which is probably the most important thing for us is, is a group. But like you said, I feel after my injury, everything was like, I feel, I feel I wake up a lot of people in my team. The Portland Trailblazers are going to the conference finals for the first time since 2000. You should be blessed you can play. So I think it was good and a bad thing. As what has been a magnificent season comes to a heartbreaking end. I feel everybody step up. Everybody was aware that they have to do it. One man down and I think the team will respond well.